Gonzaga Nation SI with our Kennel Club guest of the week. Today is a junior from Bothell, Washington, the home of Zach Levine of the NBA's Chicago Bulls. A junior, Emily Schwartz. Emily, thanks for joining. You probably didn't know I could connect the Bothell dots with Zach Levine and yourself. Very shocked. Bothell, there's not, we don't really have a claim to fame, but I guess it's uh, him. Uh, did not know that. Well, once upon a time, Gonzaga recruited uh, Zach Levine. He chose yeah. to go to UCLA, spent one year before heading off to the NBA. I think he made a good decision, but yeah. I would imagine you love your decision having come to Gonzaga. You've been a part of the Kennel Club now for two years. Mm -hmm. Next year, you will be the vice president. Give us a little bit of why you chose Gonzaga and then why you became involved with the Kennel Club. Yeah, uh, my college decision, decision process was a little, um, I'd say unique. Uh, for the majority of high school, I was planning on playing soccer in college, even looking at playing at some other WCC schools. Um, but my older brother actually went to GU. He graduated last spring. And I had, you know, applied to a handful of schools. It, this, it was about January, my senior year. Um, I applied to Gonzaga, applied to the nursing program, got in. And I was like, you know what, I'll go visit. You know, my plans were kind of set in a different direction, but I was like, I'll just visit, you know, make sure I know what I want. And literally from like the second I stepped on campus, I was like, oh, no, I'm going to have to make a hard decision here. Um, my brother was living in Kennedy apartments at the time, so I went and stayed with him for a weekend. And I went to some of his classes with him, which he was a comp sci major, so I didn't understand what was going on, really. But um, I did really get a feel for the school and just how unique this campus is and how special of a place it is. There's not really words that describe it, but anybody who's gone to GU or has been a part of the community really knows that it's kind of just like no other place. And I knew that, you know, I didn't want to sacrifice my education and a place like Gonzaga to continue playing soccer. So it was a tough decision, but um, all good things, you kind of have to sacrifice for them and uh, ended up here. And I really got involved with the kennel just because I like sports in general and I really like watching sports. And, you know, I remember over orientation weekend, um, the kennel club came out, taught us zombie nation. And from that second, I was like, that is what I want to be a part of. That is kind of, you know, what embodies the pride of GU. Everyone's just so passionate about the school and about, you know, calling themselves a zag. Um, and I applied for freshman rep my freshman year, obviously didn't get it, which no biggie, reapplied my sophomore year um, and got on the board. And ever since I've just been rolling with it and falling more and more in love with the school as I get deeper into leadership here and learn more about, you know, what makes Gonzaga run smoothly and what makes it such an incredible place. So you were already a little bit in the know with the Kennel Club, seeing that your brother was uh, at Gonzaga before you. Um, how would you stack up pre-COVID Kennel Club stories from him and current Kennel Club? Because you guys were pretty darn good this year. Yeah. Um, so my freshman year, we had a full season in the Kennel before COVID kicked us out. And I remember I was actually lucky enough to attend the UNC game at home that year. Um, I had to stay in my brother's house in the Logan with all seven of his roommates, all dudes, which was certainly an experience. But that is definitely one of my favorite Gonzaga memories, just how I think rowdy is really the only way to put it. You know, everyone wanted revenge and obviously came out with the dub that game. But comparing, you know, that kind of intensity to, you know, let's say Texas this year, I would say it's even more so what, you know, you'd expect from the kennel. Um, I think there was a sense of uh, wanting to make up for lost time. You know, it was it was hard last year. It feels like all the things that you loved back on Zaga were kind of taken um, just by circumstance. But People came out swinging this year, I, I think is the only way to put it. We were hungry to get back and let, you know, people know that, you know, we're still here, reestablished, you know, being the best student section in the nation. Well, I would definitely rank you guys up there amongst the best, quite possibly the best student section in the country. Is spring breaks over, mm -hmm. NCAA tournament, Gonzaga's made another su Sweet 16 appearance. What's the Kennel Club uh, atmosphere like on campus? Mm -hmm. Is there a planned watch party for Thursday's game against Arkansas? Is there a good contingent of students mm -hmm. that are heading down to San Francisco? Give us a feel right now for the, uh, the campus. Yeah, so last Saturday we had a game watch out on Foley Field, which is part of campus, had a big LED screen. Um, that was crazy to say the least. Once that second half started going, nobody was sitting down, hundreds of people out there. And, you know, final buzzer goes, everyone's running around screaming, hugging each other. It's exactly what you'd expect to see. 
Um, as far as this Thursday goes, it's a little tough with the timing of the game uh, in the middle of a school day. There's a game watch going on. Um, hopefully get a lot of people out there. It's not going to be outside this time. It'll be um, on campus inside. But um, I don't know too many people heading down to San Francisco. I know a lot of people who uh, went to WCC tournament in Vegas, uh, their wallets are hurting a little bit from a week in Vegas, which uh, is understandable. Um, and also just traveling during school is uh, pretty tough. But you know, even if people aren't attending on campus game watches, they're with all their buddies uh, at home watching it, you know, making snacks. Everyone's got their jerseys on. But it's at this time of year, everything is around basketball. People are skipping class on game days, um, which, you know, I'm not I'm not condoning, but also you got to do what you got to do. I, I would be right there with you skipping class to, to watch a big game. That's just me, though. But uh, give me your favorite memory of the Kennel Club this year before I let you go. This year? That is a tough one. Wow. Um, honestly, I'd have to say the Texas game when Rasir Bolton hit the half court shot right as a halftime buzzer went. It it erupted. I have never heard the kind of that loud. Everybody has been waiting for such a big game. You know, you just finished up a tent city. And at that point I was running on like maybe two hours of sleep because, you know, all 14 kind of club board members fit into like a six person tent and sleep there the entire night. So obviously tired from running the event, tired from cramming into the tent with uh, that many people. But w when that happened, it was just unreal how loud it was and a bunch of people got it on video and looking back at the the clips of it I was like oh my god that actually happened like that was insane and it was kind of picture picture perfect moment there Emily thanks for joining I wish you the best of luck uh, next year as you're the vice president Thank of you. the kennel club one of the best if not the best student sections in all of college basketball so take care and go Zags awesome thank you have a good